This guy is like on some other level of strength. It's not even funny. I can't even comprehend how strong he is. Salavathan here and welcome back to my reaction. <laughs> welcome back guys. Today we are continuing Orient Up. Today we are on episode 10. And man, episode 9 had a nice, nice setup for us, you know. Musashi was out of the Black Crystal, but he's still not worthy to wield the Kitetsu bait. But, you know, we got some progress, you know. He, he apparently, he's not worthy, but he's not rejected yet. So, he's kind of in like an in-between space where he can still hold the Kitetsu blade, but not actually, like, uh, I guess, use utilize its powers and things like that. So, it was good to see that. That. Um, so and then part of the episode, you know, we got Shiro, the absolute beast coming in, just slaughtering all the bushi um, like all around in, in his vicinity and kind of just basically sword robbing and stuff like that. So the man came there, killed the Kishin, um, waited for the bushi to come up and then said, hey, I'm here to steal all your damn swords. So get ready <laughs> so we got to see that um he was just massacring everybody and it was crazy but then you know we had musashi and kojiro and um sugami kind of meeting up together you know they all were essentially targeted by these two people and um I guess you can say that they're now fighting those two people right here. So now we're having those, like, basically a three-on-two match against uh, Sugami, uh, Kojiro, Masashi, and um, Shiro, and the Nanao girl. And um, yeah, we're going to see what happens with that. It wasn't working out so well for them earlier with Nanao kind of just basically 1v3ing them all. But it's, it's going to be great to see what happens going forward now. But um, yeah, we're going to get started now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and also make sure you check out the patreon link down below you, know, you get full-on cut reactions of this show and many other stuff you know such as movies other animes TV shows honestly check it out it's definitely worth it but without further ado though we are going to get started with Orient episode 10 let's go and I'm super excited yeah Sound like Jim Carrey from the mask there for a second. <laughs> Let's just get started. Well, damn, this is the first time we're actually seeing a somewhat type of uh, recap that's going on here. Okay, yeah, we're basically kind of just like recapping the whole like uh, back half of the what happened here last time Okay, I think this is the part where the story content is gonna start up again because there was a big-ass recap there for the very first time never you never used to have recaps before Yo, I can't even lie, man. Nanao, it, Nanao is like fierce, man. I, like, I, I, how is she taking them all on by herself? It's crazy. That means the black aura isn't what's making Shiro strong. It's just that these people are on a whole nother level. It's crazy how she would say that this was like a 7 on 3, but like, she was the one at a uh, disadvantage here in this regard. <laughs> I think that was, I think that was a smart plan, cause she knew, he knew that he, she was gonna be going after Masashi, and she couldn't let Mas, and he could she couldn't let Masashi go. So that's pretty smart by Kojiro, on his, in his regard. なな大さん、敵の数が多いなら、バラバラに戦っても不利だ。でも一箇所に帯引き寄せられれば。おお、じゃあ、まずはシェプリスマートムーブバイコジロマン。
あっちも二人で戦うつもりか一人だけでも強いのに協力したらどうなっちゃうのよだからどうかこの仕事は私にお任せくださいまだ二人で一緒に戦う必要はありませんいや、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、私は、ダウンウッドのブレーダーを見つけたら、I can't because he just seems so outmatched with like with every other bushi here. What is this color? Torin! Torin is. When he was in the light, he was in the light. 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 I don't like them fighting this guy, man. This guy's like on a whole nother level, man. He's forcing them, I think, into the sky or something. That way they won't be able to escape. I think he's trying to stop them from escaping. Nah! Nah! What in the hell is the point of any of this shit? Because now it doesn't sound like he was attacking everybody, but that technically was an attack. Like he's using it to make everybody fall down. How the hell did he do that, man? This guy is like a literal god. Cause like, that's what he just said. Like he sliced out part of the world and then flipped it on his on his axis. Ochizuni nebatte iru no ga iru na. Hayaku ochi na. This is not fun, man. This is not fun. How the hell can this guy do this? Mitachi wa oni taiji shita in daro. そのために強さをどうして他人に求めるんだ倒したい誰かがいるのなら方法はたった一つじゃないか最強の武士になって一人じゃ虫みたいに弱いから仕方なく仲間と一緒にいるのか武士団ってやつはわおこの野郎好き勝手言いやがってまるであいつみたいなこと言いやがる武士団の夢はお前にとってただの手段だろちげえよそっか俺にはよくわからないよ He honestly can't say it's right but like he, I, I get what the, the Shiro's kind of saying in his own regard but in his mind he thinks that to be the strongest you gotta have the, the strongest blade and the strongest like just strength you know Oh, yo, the goddess here. What is she trying to do? Is she going to give him the power or is she going to just keep insulting him here? Because she's like, I finally understand what kind of person you are. Bro, this, go this like, goddess is like literal goddess. Like, apparently, she has like mind warping powers. お前だけでも助け出そうと思うのだが。それは他は全員信じまうってことなのか。自分でもわかってる。俺は一人じゃ生きてる意味を失うし、夢も一人じゃ描けねえ。でも二人や三人でいると力が湧いてくるんだ。
Don't have to ask, man. Just, just give me the power. Just give me the power to fight uh, Kishin, man. Oh, what is this goddess's power? Oh my god. So has Musashi now become a god? Is that is that what just happened? Huh? Did he just become a god? Fuck. I can feel. I have mass. I'm a fucking god now. You're fucked. <laughs> 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 Yo, goddess for Musashi. Yo, what? What? <laughs> The Are you telling me that Shiro's, most of Shiro's power came from his Kitetsu blade, I guess? But I don't know what this metamorphosis that Masashi has gone through is. Essentially, <laughs> and she keeps calling this guy Shiro filth. <laughs> I think Musashi's still somewhat in control, and they're kind of working in unison. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> the goddess is crazy. <laughs> she was like. <laughs> の流れの支配者なんだ。陶器を引き寄せ、または引き離すことができる。さながら強力な磁石のように。ということは、武蔵は全ての攻撃を跳ね返せるのか。そんなのありか。It's actually a power up, man. Oh, so this is only a one-time thing. But if he loses all the power, then he won't be able to do this anymore. But then he'll be able to use Kitetsu blades. But that's kind of a weird. That's weird. That's weird. I hope. I hope you'll be able to still use it after. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, the goddess is like, piss off, man, yo. I, I don't, I don't want to be with you. F you, man. <laughs> I ain't giving you my power. Yo, she's using every single Kitetsu Blade's power to take this piece of shit out. Bye bye, Shiro. You are God, my guy. I still like you, dude. I still like you, you powerful piece of shit. <laughs> that was so such a great damn episode. It had me smiling a lot in that second half. Oh, okay. Now, let's recap real quick. Shiro. Inumaki is on a whole another level like this guy like I don't know where he draws his energy or power from maybe it's the blade that he has like just has an immense amount of energy but he also seems to have the obsidian aura so I don't understand how he's able to use that as a bushi I don't understand it I need to understand this guy a little bit more and where he, he draws his power from you know because if Nanawa was using black aura I would say okay that's common but she's not he's the only one using it and for some reason that has made him do like godlike powers man the guy like flipped over the whole world like did this whole like reality shift or whatever and i was like what the fuck <laughs>
straight up. Like, when he flipped that mountain upside down, I'm like, what is he doing? And then I saw what he did, and it was like, even Musashi was in awe. He's like, Bushis can do this? Like, what is this? This seems impossible. Like, what? <laughs> but that was great to see, honestly. Because it, it gave us that moment with the goddess, which was really great to see. You know, she came to Masashi, she's like, see, look at this. I could save you as a, as a Bushi and things like that, but I, I got it again. She was trying to test him, you know, and I liked that a lot. She was like, if you if you really, really want to, you know, and it was for her own sake, too, because apparently, like, she was residing in him, but her power was, like, would would be drained if she let him go out and be a Bushi and things like that. That, that, that like, consensus that they came into where they kind of fused together and the power of the goddess kind of, kind of imbued in Musashi where she was controlling him and stuff like that, that was awesome as shit. Like, what the fuck was that? Because, like, I was just watching that, like, looking at Musashi and I was like, whoa, like, that's actual some crazy power right there with the obsidian blades. But again, it was a bit short-lived because she said that once she uses this power here, I think that would be the last of her power and she'd have to go to sleep and she won't be able to use it again. And then Musashi won't be able to use that obsidian power again, unfortunately. So that sucks a little bit. I would have liked it if he was able to get like a downgraded version of that power. Like he was able to draw upon the goddess's power without actually having to like be the goddess. Cause like the goddess right now looks like she's like on a whole nother level when it comes to strength and things like that. So I would have liked it if he was able to at least draw upon that power. He might still be able to, I don't know. I don't know what his uh his uh, his Kitetsu aura will be. I'm still thinking it's gonna be red, just because of his hair color and things like that. It'd be really weird if his Kitetsu color was something different. But honest to God, like yeah, like re realistically, um, I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen next episode and if if the battle is actually going to like kind of wane a little bit more because I feel like um Shiro's not done here and and probably he'll probably kind of fight the goddess a little bit more here while the goddess kind of just takes him out so that was really great the goddess was like he was talking to her like yo come to me man screw Masashi. He's like screw you piss off you piece of shit i don't want to go to you you dumbass sword stealing meanie big old meanie <laughs> I was gonna say something very, very inappropriate, but then I was like, nah, 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 not here, not here. Don't want to get demonetized for this. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys around. Stay safe, take care. Um, again, thank you guys all for the support you give for this channel. It's always greatly appreciated. And, you know, it's still gonna keep pushing me forward to keep doing this. So, without, with that though, we'll keep it a buck. I'll see you guys around, and goodbye.